you've probably studied power series and in power series there's a certain convergence theorem now I just taught you the forest series or the convergence theorem for the forest series so you know when I was studying it and you know maybe you do not have access to this information or at least I would really want to give you know uh, an expository on the difference between the two it's very good to know you know us as mathematicians you know electrical engineers come to us mechanical engineers come to us and we really need to take what they give us the information they give us and really have a good interpretation to it to the point where certain terms are separated so that we know what each term means. Well, in this case, there's two series, the power series and the forward series. So we really need to know the difference and I would really like to share with you the difference. Right, so standard uh, textbook algebra, or I think you also find it in a calculus course, the power series will be given by this thing over here. Function f of x is equal to um, n equals zero to infinity, a n, a certain uh, function in terms of n, uh, x minus um, x naught to the power n. Now, as you might know, this is called the center of the series. Okay? I'm not here to teach about power series, but about the convergence of uh, the difference of the convergence between the two series. Power series of f of x is equal to this one over here. So, well, let's look at the convergence uh, theorems of both and see what it tells us. Now, this is just an example. I would like to use this as an example. And for a power series, okay, we always say that the power series converges to uh, a certain point when we pick a value of x that is within the radius of convergence of the, the center of the series. Okay? So let's just look at an example. This is the example that we have over here. There's a test that we use, and we use limit as n tend towards infinity of b n plus 1 divided by b n uh, equals to l. And uh, the radius of convergence, we get that when l is equal is less than or equal to 1. Well, uh, I'll just give a 30 second uh, talk about what this means. Okay, bn is gonna be equal to the term of the power series, which is this thing over here. Okay, be very careful of that. Um, an is gonna be equal to this. This is the function in terms of n, because n changes, uh, the running variable changes, this thing changes, this thing also changes. But bn is basically the term of the, the sequence of the power, actually, bn is the power sequence, because bn is the term that we have inside there. Okay, that is just the, the distinction between the two. So what this means is that if we have a certain um, n term, okay, and we take the, the n plus 1 term and we divide the two, we take the limit as n approach to infinity, as n would approach to infinity over here, and if we get a certain value of L, and if L is less than 1, we can say that this, uh, uh, this equation would converge, or basically, when we choose x we are in between this equation, okay, it will converge to a finite value. Well, why is that? Well, basically because the, the difference or the ratio between the n plus 1 term and the n term is less than 1. So if we multiply uh, the ratio which is less than 1, we get a uh, lower, smaller, smaller value. Okay? So basically what you have to do is that you just substitute this thing over here, take the limit, and you will find out that you will get something like this. Okay? Now, uh, I would like to also stress that this can also be more than 1 or equal to 1, in which case the series diverges and in which case this is uh, indeterminate so we need to test another way okay i think that's enough for convergence theorem of power series i've not even uh, gone into the forest series yet okay anyways this is what we get so let is let's look at the interpretation of what this statement means this statement means that at the center of the series which is in this case that is two okay this is the number line two is going to be over here right zeros over here and then there'll be a radius of 3. So basically, we're going to this way, which is negative 1, and we're going down here, which is 5. So if we were to pick a value of x, put it inside the function f of x, and likewise, put it inside here, this whole series will converge to a finite value, right? Now, that, that value of x that we can pick is limited to the center of the series and basically the radius, which is um, from, from the center of the series like I've given over here. So any value between here and here, the power series converges and we get a finite value. Now, if you were to uh, make a comparison with this and the forest series, let's go back to the forest series now. Remember, the forest series, we are always defining it in terms of end points. So if I were to draw a certain function, okay, arbitrary function, doesn't matter what it is. Okay, let's just say this is an arbitrary function, right? And the endpoints happen to be 5 and minus 5. Um, this is the function and the forest series, let's just say it converges to, to um, this function over here and basically at the respective uh, dashes that I put over there. Uh, by convergence theorem, so you need to use the co convergence theorem. The forest series would go like this, okay, taking uh, a certain sum, but as we take more terms, we will see that the forest series will go closer and closer to the graph like that, okay? Ultimately, when we take the infin uh, infinite terms, 
it will go onto the graph, it will converge onto the graph, and I mean respectively at the endpoints by using the convergence test. So here's the difference. Power series, there's always an associated radius of convergence, uh, radius of convergence and the center of the series. And as you know, if we change the x naught over here, we can change the center of the series. So if we move on to, to another part of the number line, let's just say 10, it, um, the radius of convergence will go with the center of that series. And this power series will only converge to this certain uh, group of uh, points over here, um, the center of the series and the radius from there. However, for a series is that we will always have to start out with the end points. And the end points is already given to minus 5 to 5. So one way to look at it is that for a series will converge to the function at those end points. Whereas the power series will converge to that function at only points which are given from the center of the series and the radius. So that is really to say that for a power series, because power series we do not start out with any end points, we don't. For a series you do, minus 5 to 5, power series you don't. So actually, if I were to draw a macroscopic view, if one were to use such a term of the power series, so that I can compare it with the Fourier series, this is actually what I get. Okay? Now, I can tell you honestly, I do not know what the series would look like, especially the one, the example that I've shown you. But you see, the thing is that for power series, for example, if I let the center of series equals to 2, correct? And the appropriate radius is over there. The power series diverges over here. But when it comes to this point, it will go and converge to a certain function, okay? or at least a certain finite value. And after that, it will diverge again. That's what power series tells us. If I were to move the radius of uh, center of the series to another point, say 10, so the power series diverge, 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 but when I reach at this point, it will converge to a certain uh, function, a certain function. Now, I can't draw what the function is because I do not know. But what I can tell you is that we are able to move the area of the convergence or the area where the power series converge to by changing the center of the series. You cannot do that for the Fourier series, okay? I repeat again. You cannot do that for the Fourier series because for the Fourier series, we are already given the endpoints of minus 5 to 5. So we can't move the domain of x at which the, the series converges to. Power series we can, okay, but power series we cannot. However, here's the difference. Fourier series, there is the opportunity to get a periodic extension, okay? Now, that word may seem very foreign to you, but I'll just briefly explain that. We can basically shift this graph all the way over here, which would become just basically the same thing, okay? And when we do that, now we have extended the range, okay? So, for the Fourier series, we can take the same graph, imprint it uh, onwards and onwards, and then extend the range. For power series, all we need to do is to shift the center of the series and then we will get a certain uh, points in which the, the power series converges to. So these are the two differences and it's very interesting to know because you know, I'm hope, hoping that in future we have problems when you know, the interpretation of the convergence needs to be important. Okay, I don't know, we got a certain function over here. Let's find out where the function converges to. We will pick the center to be a certain point, give us a certain function, okay? But whereas for the Fourier series, we need to have the series to converge at a point that is outside the range. Okay, what do we do? Well, I don't know, electrical engineers take the points or take the graph and shift it somewhere else. That's what I like, that's the thing that's interesting. Okay, last thing to note, and this is very important. The the test of the convergence of each series okay, are different. Power series, we are taking the, the term, the n term. In this case, we define it as bn. Remember, bn plus 1 divided by bn, taking the limit, right? This is the test. We are taking the term from the series itself. For the Fourier series, the test comes from not the series, but of f of x. These are the two differences that I would like to share with you. Okay? So I hope that you, know, you, you understand these two differences of the convergence theorems or the difference in the two convergence theorems of the power series and of the Fourier series. And I hope this will come in use in uh, future, you know, whatever you do, science, engineering, or mathematics, okay? Finally, see ya.